Hi guys and welcome to the Q&A section. In here I'm going to try to answer your questions. You can send me questions via private messages or you can comment on the videos themselves or even on the main um, forum topic on autohotkey.com in which um, I usually update when I upload a video in here. So um, I do not guarantee that I'm going to answer all the questions because they require time um, to create the video and also to research sometimes because I do not know everything of course but I will try to answer those questions that are easy to answer um, in a very simple way so I received a question recently about how to create a small script that will click indefinitely when I have a key press like for example let's say the F key on my keyboard and you have no idea how common that question is. You will go to the to the forum and you will get bashed because people are tired of ask, answering the same question and it is actually in the manual. Actually, when you go to the manual, you will find a piece of code, uh, an example code, that you barely have to modify that thing and you, you have your work in script already. But anyways, I'm going to make this video so you can, you know, have another source um, to which to refer to without getting bashed by other users. In this case, let's first start understanding what we want to do. First of all, we want to press a key and check whether or not that key is hold down. And while that key is hold down, I want to perform a special action. In this case, it's going to be the click. Now, um, check out the introduction video on the beginners section because in there I explain exactly how to set up hotkeys. In here I'm just going to make it in a quick overview way. You just simply specify the key that you want to set up as a hotkey, then you type two times the column sign, and after that you're going to put the command that you want to run. For example, let's say message box. You can use the message box or let's say run notepad. Basically that every time I press the F key it is going to run notepad. But in this case we are going to add other lines of code and when you're adding several lines of code to a hotkey you cannot just simply make it in this particular format you cannot just simply put the two columns and the, and the, and the um, command right next to it it doesn't work so what you have to do is put the command below you put as many lines of codes you want a variable let's say variable here and then at the end of the list of commands that you want to run then you put the return command. And that particular um, keyword, the return, it is telling out a hotkey. Well, you're going to execute this, 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 and that, and after that, you're going to return to the point where you started reading. Um, we will understand that, especially if you're following the beginner section. I will under I will explain how that works. But in here, the you just need to understand that you have to set up the, the, the hotkey, put in the key name, two columns, the list of commands that you want to execute, and the word return at the end. If you don't do it that way, it will simply not work. Now, we already have the first part. We set up the hotkey. Now, we need to continue with the other part. We need to check whether um, our key is pressed or not. And for that, there's um, a function, and it is also available as a command, which is called get key state. And this particular um, function, which is going to use parentheses in this case, is doing exactly what the name says. It is going to get the state of the key that we're going to specify. In this case, we're going to specify the key F. Simple as that. Um, usually, when you use a function like that, that function is going to return a value and you will have to put that value in a variable and stuff like that. But in this particular case we don't need to do all of that because um, we can use an expression, we can use this function in an expression that if it is true then we're going to perform an action. And for that we're going to need the while loop. So we have the while get key state f and that's put in here um, two breaks, two brackets, and then in here we're going to put some code. So let's get the overview. I'm actually assuming that you have no idea how auto key works. That's why I'm trying to make it in a way that you can understand what is going on. But again, follow the beginner section. I will explain everything with more depth in there. But basically, we're saying while that key is pressed, and this is the thing, that particular function that we're using in there is returning 1 if the key is pressed and 0 
if the key is not pressed. One in an expression evaluates to true and zero evaluates to false. So the while um, loop in here is expecting an expression right next to it and if that expression is true then that code that we're gonna put right next to it um, you know between the in the in the code blocks is going to be executed if it is false then it is not going to be executed so we're almost done with our script uh, so you can see how simple it is right so basically what do you want to do <laughs> yeah well I want to click then write it down click click is a command in our hotkey um, which basically clicks nothing else you have some options in there you can specify where to click you can put some X and Y positions you can specify which button you want to click the right click them you know you can specify how many times you can you want to click and so on that particular command it is very very interesting um, and very very useful you can check out the manual it is as simple as this look at this I just go to the start and I have the manual for auto hotkey right there because I use that a lot so you just go ahead and put click and there you go and there you have the command and all the parameters and all the options that it has do that often you will need it because this in here it is just that simple now there's one more thing that I want to add in here it is a little bit more advanced but it goes um, we need to add a P in here which means the physical state how do I know that? Well, again, bang, get key state, and as I mentioned, there's a command for it and a function for it. They're basically the same thing, but one returns a value and the other one puts the value in a variable. Uh, there are advantages and stuff, we are not going to go with that, but basically, the P that I'm actually um, putting in my, in my script means that I'm retrieving the physical state of the key and that is a little bit um, advanced to understand I will explain that later on but basically we're done with our script so let me see that I'm gonna save it I have the name super clicker and if I run that particular piece of code let me check that it is not running okay so if I run it every time I press the F key I'm gonna be clicking and you don't see it that much but as you can see it is going to be actually clicking uh, like crazy everywhere I put the mouse and uh, yes you can use this however you want but I would like if you actually use it to understand how this in here is working and actually use it for something more productive than going ahead and using it for going to a game and you know shooting like crazy um, some notes on that it probably will not work as easy as you might think because games um, do not get input from the user in a normal way as the Windows do so probably it works in some games probably it doesn't in other games those games that it doesn't work then um, you will need to configure some other things Auto Hotkey it is very flexible this thing as you can see it is very simple to do and with this I'm gonna finish this first question on how to remap our, my mouse click onto a key for getting indefinitely um, amounts of clicks so guys again you can go ahead and send the questions to um, to my inbox you just simply send a private message you can go to the forum auto hotkey you can sometimes find me in the auto hotkey um, chat channel and Command and rate if you like it. See you again next time, guys.